Hi Cancers, this week we have got our full moon, it is in the sign of Virgo and for you guys full moons are usually a big deal because obviously you're ruled by the moon. Um, so whenever we have a new moon or a full moon you guys are really going with whatever flow comes up um, and so this week we have got our full moon in Virgo which means that it is an earth full moon, however it does mean that we have a lot of water energy. Um, so we obviously have our sun in Pisces at the opposite of our full moon, we also have Mercury in Pisces and we have the two rulers of Pisces, Neptune and Jupiter there as well. So there's a lot of water energy. You might be feeling like you are very much in your feelings. You might be feeling like you're kind of having emotions come up from who knows where. Um, you might feel a little bit kind of up and down, you know, maybe even moody actually. Um, but this is a really, really powerful time for you to be very soft and gentle with yourself and with others. Uh, it's a time when we can do a lot of healing, uh, we can be very compassionate and we can be very forgiving. So if recently you've been putting a lot of pressure on yourself, then this Virgo full moon, it will show you that. Um, and it will show where maybe you put pressure on the people in your life or where they've put pressure on you. And this is a time where actually what we really need to do is reach inside and kind of speak to our heart and forgive ourselves or forgive somebody else or you know communicate with somebody else if they've hurt you um, and to allow a real healing connection to occur. Um, because without that, you know, it becomes very brittle. Our relationships become like tense and you know frustrated and even resentment can brew. So it's really important for you this week to communicate how you feel with somebody. So let's see what your cards are for this full moon. Okay, we have the Three of Cups and the Knave of Wands. Um, so for some of you, there is a real need for you to have some pleasure in your life, some joy, um, and you're going to have to take action on that. You know, if this is, um, you know, your relationship or your own kind of personal life has become a bit stagnant, um, it really needs to be kind of... Um, a pleasure seeking activity like you need to kind of just get out there and do something that you really enjoy doing and if you find that confusing where you're like I don't even know what I find you know what I find enjoying enjoyable anymore um, then that is a sign that really you need to kind of ask yourself you know what is it that I like where is my joy uh, if this is in your relationship and that's kind of a little stagnant then you know what do we like to do what can we do that's something new how can we shake this up a little bit how can we enjoy ourselves so let me know in the comments if that resonated this week otherwise have a fabulous full moon and if you want a reading or you want to read the blog there are links below don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week